Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Do you like White Claws? I don't, but I got something a lot better. This is a gin winterberry soda. Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a White Claw. No, you know what? Scratch that. We're making something better. And the reason I say that is a White Claw or its variants usually consists of gin and soda, vodka and soda or tonic, and just some form of a little bit of fruit flavoring or a symbols full of juice. Not even enough to justify calling it fruit flavored. And you know what? Unless you like the taste of soda with maybe a slight hint of gin or vodka, that's not enough for me. Because if I wanted that, I would just drink the vodka or the gin straight and I'd get more enjoyment because at least I would get the differences between those fluids. And I'm saying fluids because I went all smooth brained for a moment. However, what I mean by that, when you look at gin, you get the juniper notes, the pine notes, the citrus notes, depending upon whatever distillery put this through. Now vodka itself is a neutral spirit and generally doesn't give off much of an odor. However, the way they filter it and the way they distill it can sometimes give you differences in taste. Now, because I don't want to drink either of those things straight and I want something bubbly, I'm going to make a gin winterberry soda. And you know what? This sounds really good. I think you're going to like this. And it's simple. Grab your glass. Now, your next ingredient is blackberries. And depending on the size of your blackberries, you want three to five of them. I'm going to throw one, two, three in there. And that should be four because I just want more. Grab your muddle. Now you don't have to muddle this, but because we're not shaking this, uh, I want some of the juices to come out and have a chance to start mixing. So just gently muddle it just a little bit. Not much, and I'll clean this up. And this will allow the juices to start coming out. The next thing we're going to use is a little bit of simple syrup. Now, White Claws and their variants are very light on sugar, mixed with a little bit of salt, so it comes out kind of neutral. For this, we're going to use half an ounce, which is 15 milliliters. However, now that the sugar's having a chance to start to work on the berries and pull the juices out, we are going to fill this with ice. All right, now, your next and most important item is your gin of choice. In my case, I'm using Empress 1908 Gin. They are a local, gin company that distills in British Columbia and they put butterfly fee, butterfly pea flower in their distilling process, which gives us this beautiful blue or very dark purple uh, um, mm -hmm. gin. And it's got some great botanical notes and I really, really enjoy this. For this, we need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Look at that. Absolutely nice and pretty. Now we're gonna get rid of this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to free pour three to four ounces of the soda of your choice. Now, the original recipe that I found on the Empress 1908 uh, website calls for no simple sugar or simple syrup and just a plain soda. So for them, it's a, a fruity white cloth, so to speak, but it'll taste better. However, I like things a little bit differently. Now that looks sharp. And you know what? Oh my, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, but we're not done. We need to garnish this. Take two more blackberries and throw those in there. And now you have a gin winterberry soda cocktail. Just look at that. Absolutely 
beautiful, effervescent, the colors. And you know what? We want to get some of that uh, fruit juices in here. So just for this, we're going to a little bit of a stir just to work that in. Oh yeah. Move that off to the side. Let's give it a sniff. Smells really good. You immediately get notes of the gin directly off the top of this. And it's those notes that really set the, set your palate ready for this drink because you get that wonderful uh, of, the, uh, of the spirit. Oh, that is so good. It is just sweet enough. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. You get the taste of the blackberry. You get a little bit of the lemon lime syrup and it's sweet. The gin is flavored in there just absolutely beautiful. And this works so well. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, I guess you could have this during the summer if you wanted, but I don't care if it's winter. It's worth it right now for you. Uh, what I'll do is I will put a link to the original article down in the description down below. And I will put my ingredient list down in the description as well as the method of how to make this. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time you put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you're interested in helping support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rock because every little bit helps. And you know what? You enjoy. Have a great day. It's not so great because you can't tell what gin you're using. You're not getting any special gin newts. newts. For White Claw or one of its variants, you'd normally... So today we're making a winterberry 